Hey everyone, Skillsy Shooter here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to episode 8 of the Quad Feed Podcast. This week we've got Rishi the Scrib all the way from the UK. We learn a little bit more about Ron's prospective new board game. And Chris's mum makes yet another appearance, detailing exactly when Chris's bedtime is. All that and a whole lot more on Quad Feed. Hey everyone, Skillsy Shooter here, coming at you with episode 8 of the Quad Feed podcast. This week, sponsored by Surprise Faggots, the new board game from Ron, who uh, will be in Christmas, in the stores in Christmas. So be sure to pick that up. Twenty four ninety five from all major retailers. Surprise Faggots, it's going to be great. <laughs> he just made his night. My God. I have nothing to contribute anymore. Like, that's the, there's nothing I can say. That's, you just did it for me, Gav. I'm good. I'm going to watch Done. TV for the rest of the podcast. Catches. Leave on a high note. Bye. Cheers. That's not bad. We're 15 seconds in. Ron's already gone. <laughs> what happened to his thing? Whilst he's gone, hey everyone, uh, episode 8, which I suppose technically on a weekly show means we've been going for two months now, so whatever that means, whatever that means. I'm joined with my usual uh, cohorts here, along with a uh, plus one all the way from the UK, but I'll introduce him shortly. I was going to introduce Ron and sort of you know, do what we do, but he's bucket off somewhere. So, um, Benny Amino, how are we, sir? Not too bad. How are you? Good, mate. You're all right. All aboard the yeah, Daisy okay. hype train. Was there yep, an announcement? Was there an announcement? I'm not. Um, in, I'm not in I, Daisy I, world. I think it was like an announcement of an announcement of an announcement that maybe standalone is maybe coming soon, and then. Well, it keeps getting delayed. Yeah, but like the Dean Hall, um, the Dean Hall, sorry, but Dean Hall, um, on Twitter just posted up like a video of his little own little Daisy hype train sort of thing. So like all aboard. So maybe something's happening soon, but no one knows. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, but very excited. So you'll be all aboard that hype train. You'll be. Uh... Yep. Can't be worse than ghosts. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Ben we'll get to that later. Hell. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh really? You want to talk about ghosts? Okay. All right then. Let's talk about ghosts. Yeah. Of course we will. If we oh, get time. Of course time. we will. <laughs> Chris still rocking the seven minute abs. I see, my friend. Yes. Have you managed to whittle them down to seven minutes, or? Uh, well, that's the hard thing. Trying to squeeze those extra seconds out of it, mm. it gets uh, pretty tiring. Mm. I was hoping to get down to that Ben Stiller's idea of the six-minute abs, mm. just so I can market that. <laughs> Although I do have the, unless there's a massive uh, feeling of deja vu coming over me, yeah, you know, I thought the usual format of changing your tagline week by week. Yeah, it was going to... But anyway, that's fine. We'll still go seven minute amps. That's fine. Yeah. And just from the speed of your response, obviously means that uh, Chris is quite hungover at the moment by the sound of it. So that's cool. That's cool. We're all good. Very hungover. Ron. I was going to have my tagline, please stop talking loudly. Yeah. <laughs> please stop talking on a podcast. It's kind of a uh, an element that needs to be there. Ron blows goats. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I didn't mean to steal your thunder. I mean, I I really thought Surprise Faggots was going to be, you know, uh, uh, just a surprise entry into this year's board game of the year. Um, it shocked me when you, when you said that. Milton Bradley obviously came. Who was to right? The party. You made my nine. Mm. Yeah. Explain the explain the premise to me again. You come up behind two guys. Pardon the pun, and. To do various oh, yeah, no, I, I pull down your pants. You guys and I, and I stab them oh, right. with my penis, and then I play Assassin's Creed, and then I <laughs> jump from a building and stab two guys at once. And when I play it by myself, because um, I play by myself all the time, can you can you stop um, with these hand actions, please? Because it's um, yeah. So like, yeah. I come up behind him, and um, when I'm doing that, yep. um, yeah, stab them both, <laughs> and. Uh, I yell out surprise faggots and kill them both. Mm. It is amazingly awesome. Try Why it. Why surprise faggot though? <laughs> because they're faggots when I kill them. If anybody what? thinks that's offensive, fuck what? yous. There you go. 
Okay. Problem solved. Three minutes in. Tidy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think Chris had like a brain aneurysm just there. <laughs> He's like, oh, Christ. My gay friends are going to hate this guy. <laughs> I have a lot of gay friends. Jesus. Well, they're going to hate me too. Oh, that's all right. Oh, surprise, faggots. Surprise. <laughs> Do you think they yell that at birthday parties in uh, King's Cross? <laughs> if it's a surprise Oxford, birthday party. Oxford Street, Oxford Street surprise parties? <laughs> if it's a surprise party, yeah. Oh, God. You're going to have to. We're straying into awkward territory here, so I'll move on. Yeah. And introduce yeah. this man. Rishi, how are we, sir? What's up, mate? You, I see your, you changed your tagline there because... Uh, you know, the the head honchos at Google, it used to say, for everyone's benefit, it used to say, fuck Google, because we've been having ridiculous trouble in getting this whole thing up ever since the update. But yeah, fuck FIFA 14. What's what's the reasoning behind that? No good? Uh, FIFA 14 is just fucking annoying. Yeah? This fucking pisses me off. Everything that uh, KSI has, has, come to, uh, has come to detail is pretty much on the money, or...? Uh, no more than that. More than that. Just not impressive. I thought you. Yeah. I thought you were going to straight up just say, uh, "It's a fucking football game. Fuck it. Like football <laughs> games suck. They <laughs> do." Rules, man. No offense to football. I like the game. I like the sport. But the, like playing playing the game is fucking stupid. Sorry, I just don't like it. You're so. on a roll today. Is there any other major sort of uh, groups that you want to? You know, just yeah. offend right now, just to get it out of the way. Promise me you're gonna censor this out, though. You have uh, to promise me. Yeah, I want that. Yeah, I want that. Yeah, mom. <laughs> All right, bye, mom. See you, mom. All right, bye, mom. See you, mom. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> we they, were, they, were just, they were supposed to have gone an hour ago, dude. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm going an hour and a half ago, man. That's, that is making the podcast. Now. Oh, for sure. That's in there now. Yeah, that's yeah. in. You know, if it's not Chris's mum asking what's for dinner, then uh, it's it's Rishi's mum announcing that she's going out of the house. That's it's part of that uh, London, Indian, London Indian, living. Indian parents, man. Indian parents, they'll never leave on time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that right now, they'll never leave on time. I'm so sick of them and their rules. The poor is Gestapo crap on me. <laughs> Mind you, mind you, though, when I when I was seventeen, the parents were out of the house. You know, doing a podcast doesn't isn't exactly the first thing that sprung to my mind. Yeah, that's 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 just was bad. it? No, it was, it was, no, I was getting in the kitchen and making eclairs. What? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I've got a love for shoe pastry. What can I say? See, for me. If it, if I wasn't doing this, I'd be playing Call of Duty Ghost with on the loudest one. Right. Why aren't we doing that right any, now? Just because I don't have any headsets. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. No, it's meant to be played up really loud. Yeah, to to drown out the uh, the horribleness. But we shall get into that. Um, for I mean, I don't I don't think I explained uh, where Rishi's from. Rishi's from the UK. Um, he's. Uh, we, we kind of frequent in the same circles, getting lots of live, well, lots of live streams with Jay and uh, and uh, into the same sort of stuff. So I thought I'd, I'd throw him a quad feed bone and get him on the show. Who's Jay? Yeah. Jay, um, <laughs> you know the guy that we had on two fucking weeks ago. Your mum. Well, you mean three? Ring a bell. Oh, God. Buzzer, ring a bell. Being trolled oh. by my own bloody podcast <laughs> member. Anyway. Um, I'll toss a coin. What do you want to start with? Do you want to start with ghosts or do you want to start with the whole debacle that is the Google comment section? I'm tempted to say ghosts, but I'll leave it up to you. I don't mind. Both are fucking terrible. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Start off ben. with why uh, Ron's wearing a tie and he shaved. <laughs> <laughs> when I eat and drink, okay, this fucking thing that was like on my top lip, like, I would end up chewing on that thing, like, more than the actual food. So, mm. so yeah, you I had shaved, to get rid of it. You shaved Thanks for noticing. Movember. Was that You're supposed to keep it in Movember? Yeah. You shaved yeah. it in of all Movember. The months, of all the you know, months to actually you know, do something. If I want to... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not listening to some fuckwit who's, like, shitting all over Cod Ben, so shut the fuck up. 
Oh, oh, don't worry. I'm not the only one. I was gonna oh, say, yeah, you'll, 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 you'll be listening to me in about three, three minutes. Yeah. You don't like the ghosts, too? Oh. Hang on. Dude, well, no one does. I'm, no one really? does. Well, I will put Except this disclaimer out there because obviously this is in public domain, but uh, I reserve the right to, to change my mind as soon as I get my Xbox One. And that's all I'll say. <laughs> no, it's not going to be all I say because I've got a laundry list of shit to say. I think wow. I've, just made our own, I've, I've made the mind up now. We're going to talk about the ghosts. How's that? Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I haven't played it yet, so... Oh. Haven't you played it? Really? No, no, I don't, I don't have it. I haven't played you it haven't yet. You haven't played it yet and you're defending it. That's like yeah. me saying it's shit and I haven't played it. Yeah, Yeah. no, it's it's, it's literally because, Ben, you paid it out straight away. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> That's because, <laughs> because I own it. That's such a I noob move. It. It. That's such a fanboy move to do, Ron. You know what? I don't even give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Ben pays it out straight away. I'm going to pay him out. And you know what? Tomorrow when I get it and I play it and I'm like, wow, this is really, really shit. I'm still not going to tell him. And I'm still going to pay him out. We're going to have to record you when you first play it so we can see the facial reactions. <laughs> you know what? Me getting I... sadder and sadder. In the per- in a perfect I've got nothing to do tomorrow, so I'll come over. <laughs> All right, fine. Make it happen. In a perfect world, we're all in the same world. If you lobby. guys want to pay for my plane ticket, uh, hey. you can, if you guys want to pay, pay for my plane ticket, I'll come over as well. Jump on a fucking plane, man. Chances are you'll probably get, you know, you'll probably pay Ron at Mario Kart and beat him as well. So. <laughs> oh, that's more I am good at Mario Kart. Hey, we, 64? We extended the same no, offer to Ghibli, we, so. Just, just saying. Wait, Rish, you said n- not 64. I haven't played the 64 for 12 years, so... Okay. I, I it doesn't matter, he did it I, and I still beat him. You beat me once, you fucking fuck. Once. <laughs> that does not count for shit. You, you, you beat me in, in the practice round, the very first one, and it's like, this is accelerate, this is break. You. The rest of the time I raped you. I just raped you. Okay, can we surprise can we faggots, move, I raped you. Can we move on from the rape talk and the getting, you getting butt hurt about losing? I lost one game. <laughs> Watch the fucking video, you fuck. <laughs> anyway. Ron, it's too easy. We're winding you up, mate. It's too easy. Are ya? Are ya? Yeah. I'm driving yeah. you a place right now, Benny, and I'm going to fucking rape you right there on your webcam. <laughs> See you soon. Oh. <laughs> well, since he hasn't played it, he's, he's not terribly critical to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ben has played it. What are your main... Mm-hmm. Well, I, I suppose not to paint too much of a negative light on it. Let's start with some stuff that you do like. And if that's short, then no worries. Uh, the logo looks nice. You love just blowing homeless <laughs> people. <laughs> well, um, it's... Well... I don't know. I, it's just... The whole promoting it so much as being next-gen. Everyone is expecting next-gen. I have it on PC, so I have the PC port of it. And it's just like woeful. I have to it's say, you have probably got so it the worst good. out of all because the PC yeah. port in everything that I've every circle that I've seen, every podcast that I've seen since then, the PC gets yeah. it worst of all by the sounds of it. Yeah, and it's, it's just such... like the frame. Oh, it's, it just it looks looks so bad. <laughs> I don't know if he froze it or if he's just really still. no, he's very still. <laughs> He's just waiting for someone to acknowledge it, just so he could actually move. Was... Inside, inside his mind, he's like, "Oh God, I hope they comment on this. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to stay like this for the rest of the fucking podcast." You're not meant to fucking bring that up, though. You just ruined it. Sorry. Yeah, we don't. God. We don't need to simulate freezing on Google Hangouts. That we're they're yeah, actually no, able to do that. Very cool. That shit happens all the time. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> you know, not to go into too much detail, but that is a. Uh, a brief summation of a video that's going to be coming up soon on uh, Call of Duty Ghost first impressions. But I will yeah. give you that's, guys a- nothing, nothing innovative on it. It's just it's the same old shit which yeah we're used to, but it's just it's just bad. Who would have thought that COD Ghosts was going to be the COD killer? So <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not a COD killer. I wouldn't say that. Oh, no one no one is ever going to buy another COD after that one. Hi, <laughs> Ben. Hey um. Watch your fucking tongue. <laughs> Ronald's up. Awesome. Okay. Um, but I don't know, wasn't um, 
Modern Warfare 3 was pretty terrible, but then yeah, it's the, it's the Black same Ops thing 2 came Modern out. 3. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, they seem to have there, there are one good, one bad. There are a legion that, well, they're two different studios, so it's kind of like... Oh, is it? I didn't really realize. Yeah. So the Treyarch, this one? The Treyarch games you know, generally tend to be the better supported out of all of them. So Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 2, and... Uh, Oh god, what was the one before? And it's Ghosts uh, Treyarch one. They did World of War, Ghosts, right? No, yeah. no they, they alternate. They alternate. No, Ghosts is Infinity Ward. Yeah, so uh, Infinity Ward, Activision, kind of, you know, whenever they sort of get together. Historically speaking, the Modern Warfare two and uh, Modern Warfare three. Um, I mean, Modern Warfare two apparently is go goes down in history as one of the worst supported games post sale or post implementation. Out of pretty much all of them, the amount of glitches, really? the amount of glitches. I mean, there was a care package glitch. There was, you know, under the map glitches that would just get exploited, and like it just took. A... That was happening in every card. Yeah, but I mean, in terms of like it, the the reaction time from the studio to actually come back and go, oh, okay, this is something that's happening, and then fix it in a in a period of time that is less than six months. I mean, that's if you're talking about that doing still updates. That's happened in Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, yeah. But again, that's that's an Infinity Ward though. So, any any of the modern warfare ones, you know, generally apart from, um, I suppose, COD Four, um, any of the modern warfare two, warfare three. There's just that general kind of uh, feeling that they're not as as well supported as some of the tryout games. Yeah, there's stuff going to be bad stuff that happens in each game, but it's about that reaction time and, and how quick they are to to fix stuff up. Um, well, Matt, well, yeah, I mean, um, you know, if, you, if you're talking about gun imbalancing, I mean, that you, usually uh, Treyarch are pretty quick to address that sort of stuff. There's monthly patches which address which address things, but um, yeah. So in terms of the crappy stuff, um, it, it feels like it takes five bullets to kill someone and one or two to die from. <laughs> well... The insta deaths are the most frustrating thing out of everything. Yep, it's borderline ridiculous because you know, and I mean, it goes hand in hand with the map size as well. The map sizes are huge. It's like Call of Battlefield, is what it is. You know, you sit. The thing that made me laugh, I was, I was watching uh, Painkiller this morning, and and Woody said about how it's like part FPS, part hiking simulator. And I just fucking laughed my head off. It was. But are you, are you sure you're not biased because you're a uh, shotgunner that you would like the shorter maps? Well, I mean, in each Call of Duty game, there are clearly defined close quarters maps where you know you can you can run around with a shotgun and that's perfectly okay. But these maps in particular, I can name one map, Strike Zone, that even comes close to um, being. You know, even usable with a shotgun, and even then, you've got to run around. You're not checking corners; you're checking like six or seven corners. Like the map design in this at the moment, you know, whether or not it's going to be any DLC maps that are going to be any better than this, but the map design is—it's all over the shop. That's the thing. I mean, if you're looking, okay, if you go from playing Battlefield Four to COD, it's just like it's just. The difference between the two games is just unbelievable. Yeah. And there's COD goes supposed to be next gen, which it just definitely isn't. It's just mm. the difference between the two games is just phenomenal. <coughs> Unfortunately, though, I think because you know we we're kind of in that in that middle ground oh. of now we've um, you know we've experienced the PC Battlefield Four, which is truly next gen, and. And, a, and, a, and technically a, a next gen game on a on a current gen console. I mean, that's where that's why I said about I'm, I'm kind of holding back. I'm really fifty fifty at the moment, but I'm holding back and hoping that whatever you know next gen in inverted commas features brings to the party that even even texture well, think... the texture pack in the in in this game is just fucking woeful. It's like they've taken a glob I of think mud. Some of the people have actually. Uh... The what? It plays like a free to play. A yeah, free to play. Just, yeah. Run, how do you do? Fucking awful, <laughs> man. 
<laughs> what way rather? I put too much um, um, that Flavoring. habanero sauce. Oh. Yeah. Oh, good. So I it's, love it's habanero hot. sauce. Yeah, shit's good, especially in soups. Let's talk about soup. My favorite soup is Vietnamese uh, pho, uh, commonly pronounced pho, which is incorrect, but um, it's actually pho. Uh, really uh, thin. I'm not actually going to talk about fucking soup. Did somebody else fucking start talking? <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I, I gave, you, you made the rope, mate. You might as well hang yourself with it. <laughs> I just want to see how far you can go. Tell me. <laughs> I'm not no. going to die, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, with, um, with ghosts, like, uh, a lot of the problems that I'm hearing are, the, they're, like, uh, all multiplayer problems, right? They're not, um, well, like, how's the campaign? The campaign's pretty crappy yeah. as well. It's bad. It's pretty crappy as well. It's full of bugs. What it's full of bro- shit. bugs. It's got a really? frame, frame rate cap. It's just glitching all over the place. And but jumping. is everyone that's having a bad time PC or on Xbox and PlayStation as well? I know PC is pretty terrible. Mm. Uh, the, on the PlayStation is fucking shit. Oh, okay. Really? They stole motion capture scene uh, scenes from Modern yeah. Warfare 2. <coughs> the endings are exactly the same. Oh, so they just might fade. Did they? They, you know, in, in terms of character models, like if you had the wireframe, all they've done is wrap. What? On one particular scene, like you know, if you were to strip away the outer, the skin, and the uniform, and all that sort of stuff, they they did a side by side comparison, and it was as clear as day that they've just gone, "Oh, let's go to the archives, shall we?" Some poor bastard's gone into. Okay, I'll go with that one. Yep, that's fine. Put some new skin around it and a dog. Awesome. And, and send it on its way. Someone had to leave early that day. Yeah. It's just it's just funny how they were talking it up so much, like at the, like at the announcements and stuff like that, and then to finally sit down and play it, and it's like, what the fuck were they talking about? It is this sort of stuff. Yeah. It's That's the crazy. standard. It all the games delayed. are hyped up for the max. It's just like, oh, all this intuitive shit and blah, 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 and you're like, no, we're playing completely <laughs> different games. <laughs> yeah, I, I get the dilemma, though, because obviously they, you know, they have a launch window that, you know, lines itself up with the launch of a new console kind of thing. So what do they do? Do they go, oh, you know what, let's let's design for a common denominator, i.e. current gen consoles and and hope that, you know, that people buy people who don't buy the next gen consoles will buy this game. But obviously there's the limiting factor of it not being um, truly, truly next gen. Because I mean, the party size at the moment—that's half the reason why the maps feel so big. It, it might not feel as big when you get Ground War into uh, into the playlist. Mm. Yeah, nine v nine or or whatever it is, instead of six v six. They do. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think he dropped out. Wish I'm back. <laughs> it's okay. well, it, looks like, um, it looks like I was we've got wondering how come here. they went like we for the syndicate. current gen, like. Why didn't they wait for um, the next gen? Because they miss out on, on you know, everything in, the, whole in the current market. Yeah. It's still coming out on next gen though, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's going to be built for the next gen, so uh, it's going to be immediately outdated, isn't it? It's not built for next gen, it's current gen. Well, I mean, if you, were to th- if you take into... If you, Think of it in in Halo circles, for example, right? Oh. If if Halo, for example, had a release a release window of the November of any given year, then they yeah. could have fallen into the same trap of releasing a, a Halo Five for the end of current gen and also for the for the next gen. But three four three, I've just decided. Oh to yeah, but I think I think some of the companies have stopped their um. Some of the games were going to come out on current gen, and they decided, oh, it's not worth it. We'll just aim for next year. Yeah, yeah, and that, and that's why. I mean, Sorry about that. That's all right. That's all right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, and that's why I guess you we know, lost you there. Of all the things that you know they were touting at the very beginning, dedicated servers, you know, better hit detection, you know, increased textures. I mean, the game just looks pretty crappy at the moment. But in the grand scheme of things, when you're running around a map, making sure you don't get shot in the ass. Are they are the the things like texture uh, texture packs and stuff like that the things that you really pay attention to? 
And that seems to be the thing that people have been doing. To be honest, all I pay attention to is the uh, respawning screen. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the spawns in this, in this thing are just like... God, I can't begin to tell you. I've got so much, so much recorded gameplay of me oh, spawning after. I can't a hear him at all. No, what? Keep him dropping out. I thought, like, yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he's like, well, what I thought was. <laughs> you can move now, Ron. You can move, mate. <laughs> I dare you not to smile, Ron. It's impossible. <laughs> Is it impossible when you say that? <laughs> right, what was I saying? Um, spawns. About ghosts and respawns. Spawns. I've got that much captured footage of where I've spawned after a death, gone literally three feet. And I, when I say three feet, I mean three steps towards a building because I know I'm going to get shot in the ass anyway. And then dead. Insta-dead as well. There's not even a chance <laughs> to get my gun up. Nothing like that. You are dead. Oh, at least you got three steps. I... I literally one second after respawning, I die straight away. Yeah, really, that's horrible. It is, and that's right. And the guy's right next to me, and I spawned there. Yeah, I was oh. playing just before this, and I went uh, 27 and 29, and that to date just happens to be one of the better games that I've played. It, it's an ordeal wow. just to go, just to go positive, or even in this game. Oh, You're I actually find quite a good player too. Okay, we could. Sorry, um, sorry, Rish, <laughs> go on. Yeah, I, I was just saying, I can't even go positive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have did had... they try to make it harder, or is it just that the gameplay and the style has changed? It's, it's, it's like Modern Warfare 3, but it's more faster, like, yeah. with the aiming and all that shit, and the deaths are so fucking annoying. <laughs> But, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't have faster gameplay on a... I'm guessing you don't like dying. Well, you can't no. have faster gameplay on huge matches. On huge I've already matches. broken the controller. <laughs> have you spiked it yet? <laughs> Man, I just mashed it on the wall and it just broke to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely. I have to ask, is, is at least Riley the dog, is Riley cool? Dogs are yeah, fucking exactly. OP, OP as all hell, dogs are. I just like with brush that. past you and you die. Really? No, as soon as you see a dog, you're dead. Yeah, what? That's just like um, Black Ops 2, you know when um, you get the canine um, unit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're, shoot, one, they're ridiculously hard to shoot and then they yeah. rate. Yeah, they move around pretty quick. I what think I managed to shoot one dog. Yeah. yeah. I can kill some dogs, but it's just fucking annoying. They take more bullets to kill than the actual person you've just killed. And then, they, and then the dog goes into fucking revenge mode and decides to go, oh, that's it. No more, you know, schmacko treats for you. And legs are after you. And it takes, I think it takes about four or five bullets to, to nail these dogs. And oh, you know, it took three to kill the person. It takes nine bullets to kill a dog and depending oh, on what you find. Can you, can you knife <laughs> lunge? Can you do a, like a well-timed knife lunge? I've tried to knife uh, no. these things. Oh. It takes three, ni three knives to kill them. Oh. Wow. Three? What the fuck? That's it's crazy. Not, it's not a car or something like that. It's a fucking dog, right? I mean, hell, I've it's killed it's more it's fucking dog dogs. Than... Alma. <laughs> <laughs> I've killed dogs and, like, it doesn't take, like, three massive stabs. It's like yeah. one well-placed one. Yeah, you just need a big biro and, uh, and, a, and a piece of piano wire. And they are delicious. <laughs> Is that, is that what leads into your your Vietnamese uh, favorite foods? Is it? Yeah, far. It's awesome. Far. You don't even know what of, kind uh, of Labrador. No, uh, Labradors are too gamey. <laughs> All right. It's more of a well, corgi man. <laughs> I'm such a dog connoisseur. So yeah, insta deaths um, promotes a lot of camping, obviously. So you're inside a building. You know, if you if you see sunlight in this game, chances are you're in the wrong spot because everyone else is in a <laughs> fucking building, just sitting there, you know, in some sort of elevated position with an ACOG just biding their time. You know, you, as soon as you come into a into a match, like 20 seconds later, like just stop and listen. 
Just, just, just listen. You, do, you just stop and listen, and you don't hear a single gunshot because everyone's all taking their, gone to their crow's nest in the sky, in an attempt to try and, you know, defend a, a flag point or something. It's ridiculous. And then there's me, good old shotgun skillsy, run, running out into what I think is a is going to be a good route to uh, to get first blood or at least a kill, and they just see me coming a mile away. Huge sight lines. Like they're supposed to have downplayed the whole sniper lifestyle in this game. Maybe they're just better players than you. I, I have I have no doubt that 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 is an element to it as well. But I mean, I shouldn't. You know, this game shouldn't change my play style. It's not that hard to get first blood. Oh well, I'm, I I meant first blood, but I mean a, a kill. Yeah, no, no, um, yeah. yeah, it it is quite hard to get a kill. It just depends on which route you take and all that. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I feel sorry for people who actually do like um, a bit more of a rushing gameplay because there's probably only two or three maps where you, you can run around with an SMG and you know, and actually do well. I mean, you're only seeing the, the hand-picked clips that you see on YouTube and all that. But, I mean, I, I'd love to see how many of the games didn't go their way for, you know, the likes of, you know, Ali A and... And uh, another like Jay Nasty and all that. Like the amount of live streams I've been in, where you know Jay Nasty or um, uh, what's the other one? Who's Jay Nasty? He's a he's a COD player. Yeah, uh, don't worry, that's fine. What's COD? Oh, God. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's... I'm guessing you don't watch a lot of YouTube videos, right? Oh, uh, he's just fucking around. He's what's YouTube? Oh God. So yeah, Incidest, huge maps, um, it promotes camping, it turns you into a player you don't want to be, it's a ridiculously slow grind, and the graphics are very uninspiring. Yep. But the dog's cool. The dog's OP, and uh, yeah, we'll, and come, it's we'll, only a cool, we'll be coming to Ron's bowl of soup if, if, uh, if they don't improve. <laughs> that doesn't bother me at all, man. Dogs be delicious. Dogs be delicious, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I I do like, like some dog with bullets. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, I hope you like your dogs with bullets. <laughs> yeah, need a bit. They're more. prizes when you take a bite and then you know you clink something like there's some metal in there. Like, oh hey, yay! You need a bit more iron in your diet, yeah. and you, then you keep eating. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Um, the things that I do like the game, the, some of the new game modes are, pr are pretty fun. I've played a couple with uh, with a couple of mates. Uh, the perk system, whilst a little bit confusing at first, I think is you know a bit of a bit of a trade up from the whole pick ten system. And uh, I suppose it still plays a, you know for the most part like a COD game. So well, funny that. that. No, you, you, know game. I mean, you know what I mean, though. You know what I mean. Oh, no, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific than that. <laughs> well, they, they've taken 90% of, of what you're used to. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> this is going to be one of long-ass podcasts if I'm going to have to explain myself twice. <laughs> awesome. Keep it up, Ron. I'm trying, man. This is all for you, Rish. It's all for you. All right? The show is for you. No one else is allowed to watch this. Just you. We get to a hundred views. I want it only to be from you watching it over and over. Every, every show's got over a hundred views except last week, but even then, that only because it went up four days ago. Yeah. So it's fine. Oh, uh, that's not too bad. The JX show's got over four hundred and fifty, I think. From there. Uh, who's well, JX? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a topic that you can go on with, Ron, so that I don't have to put up with your bollocks? I already tried, What's man. I talked about soup before. <laughs> <laughs> I already did. I was talking about soup before, so nobody wanted to join me. Unless you guys want to talk about your favorite soup. Oh, I do. Malagatani. Yeah, it's great. Lob lobster bisque. On the Seinfeld yeah, tour. Like uh... Seinfeld tour last year. Lobster bisque from the Soup Nazi. True story. Is it, wait, have you ever been to that actual place where that... Uh, Did you just listen to a word I fucking said? 
<laughs> no. I kind of tune out, man. I kind of tune out. Lobster bisque. Lobster bisque from the Souf Nazi on the Seinfeld tour in New York City last year. Hands down, the best soup I've ever had. Have you been to the place where the um, where the actual Moving soup Nazi? on. Where's this next topic? <laughs> Where's that boot button? Where's the fucking boot button? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kick me. Uh, um, let's talk about I this feel whole. Sorry for Gavin. The what? <laughs> I feel sorry for Gavin. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel sorry for him for? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. someone's got to. Fuck oh, Gav. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about this whole Google comment fiasco. What's this? Since you're right, fucking hell. Seriously. <laughs> I was being legitimate when I asked. <laughs> well, since uh, I guess the only other person that probably would be in some sort of YouTube space and seeing evidence of it would be Rishi, but um, that's me speaking out of turn. Yeah. The comment, the, the comment system was overhauled, and uh, it's, in the week. It's, bad. it's bad. It's basically pushing every single person that wants to give any sort of feedback. Um, down the whole Google Plus path into trying to get them to be a bit more involved in that whole bullshit social network that they call a social yeah. network. Um, I saw that movie. That was good. Justin Timberlake was in it. He was. I think that's the only reason why you watched the movie. He is sexy. So he brought, do that he brought all... sexy back. <laughs> brought sexy back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's really bad. It's just they're just trying to push their own little social network, which no one uses. Have to use it to um, make any sort of comments or anything like that, and it's just pissing everyone off. My notifications come so through. It, and it, so instead of it being like notifications coming through your inbox like it previously did, it now tells you, oh, Google Plus, there's been some activity on your video. So unless you go specifically to that video you have to then go to your Google Plus to find video to find details on the comments from the site you've just come from like yeah from a what? user interface point of view it's the worst thing you could do mm. well but doesn't it link so it'll link your Google Plus account yeah. won't that uh cause more internet bullying cuz people aren't really anonymous anymore well no people they, are, i reckon that was going to be... be able to click on people's accounts now and just write on their walls instead they, of the YouTube. Well, they reckon that was one of the upshots because it's, um, you know, it, it's a lot less anonymous. It's not like you're going to get comments on your video from LeBron James and he says you're a shit basketball player or something. It's, you know, <laughs> you know, it's actually going to be from a source which is known to known to be verified. I mean, that's one of the biggest draw cards that they reckon uh, comes out of it as well as, what was it? They said something about celebrities or personalities being more interactive on your videos. And I'm like, I don't have any personalities or celebrities commenting on my videos. Hmm. Like, is even is that a reality for anyone other than yeah, you know, Rihanna or Chris unless, Brown? Or... <laughs> unless you have millions of subscribers, it's just like a big fuck you sort of thing. Yeah. I wish a celebrity watched my video. That'd be awesome. It's fucking skyrocket, man. Yeah, Rihanna, yeah. Rihanna listens to all my podcasts. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's her escape when she's trying to get away from Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, her escape. But that leads into um, what was Carl's question. Um, Which one? It was about the whole uh, with all the mayhem and dis and destruction going on in YouTube. Uh, in YouTube land, what would you consider to be the solution to the problems? <clears throat> Go. Leave it the way it is. Go back to the original. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Not leave it the way it is. Now it's <laughs> shit. But yeah, go back to the way it was. I think they can go a few steps further than that. I think... What, fuck it up more? <laughs> no, as in like, it, it, 
because I mean, all this was brought about. All this was brought about in the whole uh, comment system anyway. So it's like, okay, if you address the comment system, let's see if there's a uh, a forum to correct all the other problems. Mobile views, ad block, that sort of stuff. Because a lot of the l larger commentators are, you know, losing money hand over fist for for mobile views, which in the biggest single emerging uh, viewing medium. Like, it's like, why don't mobile views count? I do mm -hmm. get ads during mobile when I watch uh, videos from my phone. Yeah, but I mean, on, on mobile devices, they do tend to be the shorter variety because they've obviously got to take into account, um, you know, bandwidth and data usage. So they only generally tend to be your 15, 30 second ads. Um, I've got a three yeah. minute ad. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't get... You, yeah, you don't get them all that often, though. I mean, and thankfully, those are the ones that do tend to be skippable. So, yeah. I can understand, like on an yeah, iPad, skippable. But if you're watching it on your phone, mm. a three-minute ad is just ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but they're like I said, they generally tend to be the ones that you can skip. But it's not so much about the ads and and having ad block on on your on your mobile phone. It's it's the premise of, you know, for the for the vast majority of a lot of these YouTubers audiences like they're they're viewing it on their mobile on the way to school on the way to work you know and and they don't see a, a red cent out of all the uh all the mobile views they get the 15 minutes from from the train station uh to my place of work all of that length of time is all spent on youtube and that's 15 minutes <laughs> while you're walking down the street no whilst, whilst i'm on the train chances are i don't oh. sit next to my girlfriend so it's like you'll sit there on your mobile and you'll watch a, a few three-minute videos. So you sit separate seats to your girlfriend on the train. Well, very rarely. I mean, I can't oh, believe I can't believe this is the one facet of this conversation that you're deciding to pay attention to. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, on like, a crowded a on a crowded train, very very seldom are there two seats in a row that I can sit next to my girlfriend. I didn't I didn't think it was packed. I thought you were just walking in and. Sitting away from each other. No trouble in Nice. Yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I digress. So yeah, Google, change it back. Look at Emma Blackery's uh, video because that's got over 500,000 views, I guess, at the time of uploading this. It's already about 475 at the moment. Change it back, otherwise you'll... So what's the uh, the video that you were just talking about? Uh, there's a girl called Emma Blackery and um, she's, she hot? She's really cute, yeah. Cool, I'm looking her up. <laughs> After the show, I don't want you masturbating on camera. Um, You're not going to see it, I'm not going to pull it out or anything. Unless you want me to. <laughs> I can do it. Well, well. I suppose all aspects of this being a family show are well and truly out the window. This is a family show? Oh yeah. All the swearing? Has been from week one. <laughs> 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 well, I fucked it from week one then. Yeah. Up until the surprise Emma, faggots. Emma. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the appearance. She could play the, uh, the uh, Hawaiian guitar thing. That mini guitar thing. Uh, oh, the I'm ukulele. I'm watching that video yeah. right now. Hawaiian guitar? I think it's a ukulele. Yeah, uh, yeah. A yeah. ukulele or something like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> she doesn't, right, so wait, she doesn't what, hold back. What's your name? Emma Black? Oh god. Um, uh, <laughs> topic. Topic, people. Yeah. topic. Topic. Oh blackery. Oh god. Yes, Ron. <laughs> after the show. <laughs> Fucking hell. What? No, hold on, hold on. Blackery. <laughs> Shall I? Oh, yeah, she's not bad, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go. One would do anyone, right? Yeah. Legs in a heartbeat, man. <laughs> Legs in a heartbeat. Sometimes no heartbeat doesn't bother me. <laughs> cool. You should just go to the morgue, then. <laughs> so how do we feel about Battlefield a week on? Still the best game ever. Who's watching it? Ron, my God. No, what? No, it wasn't me. 
Um, so Battlefields are week on. Much better than it was when it released. The servers are like way more stable. Everything's working like a million times better, and it's still like a fucking unbelievable game. Hmm. I might yeah. get Battlefield on PC. Yeah, I th I think that's probably the uh, general consensus. Get that bad boy on PC. Yeah. Yeah. The graphics are good. incredible. Unfortunately, though, like, it, I mean, not to go back to the, the ghost topic, but I suppose we'll kind of have to. It's kind of lined up on the same platform. It, it's hard to believe that you know, these are the two biggest FPS franchises, isn't it? I mean, you, you look at them side by side and you're like, my God, what were you, what were you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> if anything, scale back the console version based on a truly awesome PC alternative. Has it has it been like that for previous Call of Duty games, like where there is a marked difference between the the, the console uh, version? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the difference. I think Battlefield's actually made for PC, and Call of Duty's made for consoles. Hmm. Yeah, that's about. That sounds about right. Yeah, but I mean, like 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 I said, but is the have previous Call of Duties though? Have there been such a, a yawning chasm between? The console alternative, like Black Ops 2. You had that on PC, did you, Ben? Yeah, yeah. That was the yeah. first one I got on PC. All the other ones, or a few, I can't remember which ones they were, but a couple of other ones I had on um, console. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was all right at the start. And I was like, yeah, no, it's just a shooter. But then when I got when I got Blops 2 on PC, it was actually, like, pretty good. Like, it was a lot of fun. And that's why I was really looking forward to Ghosts. And then when I got Ghosts on PC, it was just, like, yeah, a huge step back. I was like, "What is what is this sort of thing?" I I actually read that um the guys who what uh it was not not Treyarch, no Infinity Ward. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones who made Ghosts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, they actually released a developer diary, uh, where they say um they outline like you know they're they're talking about how they make the game and they actually outline how much they hate Ben's Ben and uh, they think he's such a <laughs> cockhead. And they actually made it so they could uh, just really fuck with you because they really don't like you. Yeah. Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> really insightful. Day one. Me and everyone else who got it on PC. Yeah. Day one, fuck with Ben. Day two, <laughs> have lunch. Fuck with Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Day three, fuck with Ben. Day four, <laughs> fuck with Ben. Day five. Oh, I'm detecting a day trend here. <laughs> they, they, they left the ass play till day five. <laughs> <laughs> they just really don't like you, Ben. I don't know why. That, that's yeah. just them. And on the seventh day, with fuck with Ben. But Gab, you 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 clearly hate it as well, don't you? It's not just me. Please tell me, it's not just me. It, it is a steaming pile of shit, isn't it? I I jumped in and I got absolutely molested to the point where I was considering calling the police that something had awful had befouled me. <laughs> um, <laughs> But then, you know, I, I haven't found my gun yet. I, I think I'm close to finding my gun. It certainly isn't a shotgun at this point in time, purely because of the maps. Having you play with the bulldog. The bulldog? Um, yeah. I don't think I've unlocked that. I unlocked the. Uh... The bulldog's a really good gun. Is that the six? Is that the six shot one? Yeah. Yes. Six shot one. Yeah. And it's however far, however fast you can tap your, tap the trigger. Oh, it's like a striker. Kind of striker version. Yeah, it's like it's like the striker. Striker. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to try that one. Um, but again, I mean, I, I could have the best gun in the world or best shotgun in the world, but unless I've got the the maps to support it, then I'm going to be running around the same building in yeah. free for all, waiting for them to come to me, which is no fun at all. Is the um the, the games that you play when you play online? Um, do you stick with free for all or like is it this, this is all around, like every single type of um game type, like match type, like um, it's consistently bad no matter what type of... Yeah, it's um, every single match type. Yeah, it's, it's oh, that's all, fucked. There are a couple of, I mean, there are some game modes which which are interesting and, you know, I've got a few benefits that, you know, you could see them using um, using those game modes in like competitive circles and stuff like Blitz and Blitz is a little bit like, uh, it feels a lot like Capture the Flag, but it's a bit, a bit different. Um, it basically is Capture the Flag. Yeah, yeah. Um, but apart from that, I mean, uh, Cranked, Cranked's fun. I played Cranked the other night. Um, Squads mode is actually fun as well. 
that's quite good. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I mean, it. I, I just got right back into domination and try and learn the spawns as best I can and and, and try not to get uh, raped too often. So. Oh, but, the spawns are fucking random and you won't be able to learn that for shit. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it... it, it I'm trying to figure out what the best case scenario would be to know the spawns so that you could potentially take advantage of them or make them so random that, you know, you're not getting spawn trapped at a, at a moment's notice. Mm. It's that age old battle of, you know, trying to find that, find that middle ground without um, completely ruining a game type. Yeah. But is that is that what the main thing is? Is it is it the gameplay, or is it? Because I know I said that before, but is that what's making it harder? You, like, well, you just die. You, you die way, way, way too quickly. Yeah. And it takes so long to kill someone else. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't feel on a, on the same plane as you know you killing someone versus you dying uh, when you eventually do. Well, when you do die, it just completely turns you into a into a, the type of player that you don't want to be. If you're a rusher, you've instantly been confined to, you know, inside buildings and you know and maintaining. You know, you're just running around inside a building or whatever, or at least getting to but, a window. Um, would on some of the attachments the work out though? Like um, the more damage or something. Is that uh, going to make that much of a difference? I, I know in it Black Ops does, 2 it didn't really do anything. It, it does make a little bit of a difference, but not a massive one. Not a massive one. It depends on which gun you use mostly. Like if you use yeah. shotguns or pistols, if you use a muzzle, it, that, that helps the range so much. Yeah. Like in some attachments will help with some guns. The other ones are the shit. They just use less. Yeah, muzzle break on the shotgun, you know, thankfully turns it into something that's a bit... Look at Ron there. What? He was making a noise, so it came up on the big screen, so now we've just got four or five seconds of footage of Ron just finishing off the ball. Um, the... Right. Man's got to eat. Man's got to eat. Hungry, man. Um, oh, look at that. Man's got to eat that chicken fried noodles. Oh, God. Yeah. Deep fried Labrador. It is good. No, continue. Oh, Remind me. Thanks. So sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Proceed. Um, <laughs> it. I think the best way to sum it up, it feels like you're playing hardcore all the time. Definitely. But isn't that what a lot of people were complaining about, though, that Black Ops 2 was a bit too easy after a while? Hmm. I don't know. I I didn't hear no, that complaint. No, I didn't hear that. <laughs> it was very competitive and it was pretty balanced. Yeah. From okay. what I gathered, it was pretty good. Hmm. I mean, I can jump into it. it. The worst part about it is that knowing that it's technically, you know, technically the same game, and and that it, you know, you, as soon as you jump in there, you find your gun, you you navigate the maps in a way that you know that has been successful for you in the past, and it, it just feels completely different. Yeah, I could fire up Black Ops Two right now with a shotgun on standoff, and go, you know, thirty and ten conservatively, lead the lobby and and be quite happy with the gameplay and go right. I'll archive that just in case I need a gameplay for, for a commentary or something. But I've seriously had to grind through, you know, twenty thirty. I'm about seven hours in at the moment. Twenty thirty gameplays, and I don't think I've even found one yet. To be brutally oh, honest, wow. it's going to be a compilation video of me getting strings of uh, strings of <laughs> you know, triple feeds on with quad with uh, with shotguns and whatnot, but nothing from a kill death ratio that I'm willing to to show. <laughs> and the worst part about it, it's all right up there in the top right hand corner as well. So it's like basically saying, you know, I see, out, can't hide it. You, you cannot hide it. You know, I could That's go basically f- saying fuck you to your face. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could go 15 and 30, which involves three, you know, five-man feeds and go, yeah, that was pretty sick. Yeah, aren't I a great player kind of thing? But <laughs> you look in the top right-hand corner, 15 and 30. Yeah, awesome. 
<laughs> yeah. I was playing yesterday night before going to sleep. I went uh, one no zero four twelve, and I just fucked. I just rage quit and just went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. The last game I played, and I just got so pissed off. I would be impressed if I, you know, the, the second that I see the first YouTube come uh, video come up that's anything a hundred plus. You know, you I see all these K, the KM strikes, the world's first this, world's first that, and I was like, yeah, whatever. But I mean, I, I, I haven't seen a hundred plus yet, and yet with Black Ops Two, even if it's harder to kill people, you've got. These people going 226 for three, you know, and all these ridiculous that video. <laughs> Yeah, like just, I mean, obviously they're, they're not so much staged games, but you can see how, you know, they've got a I'm party. I'm touching that shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're out there. I know they're out there. But yeah. And surprise of all surprises, it looks like the uh, the game review sites have all been following suit. Yep, except for one. But that happens so much. Oh. All the games seem to come out, ben. and they're like ten out of ten, and then five out of ten. Yep, it's 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 funny because I was looking at the reviews and it just followed on exactly from what we were saying last week. How all of them were saying it was shit, except for one. I called it. I absolutely called yeah. it. Yeah. Because there's that feed like... on. Uh, I think it's on Gamespot. It's, it's a segment called Feedbackula. Yeah. Where uh, all these people are writing and going, you know, how how can you, you know, mark up a game like Black Ops, um, <laughs> like Ghosts for being, you know, so continuing continuing the franchise in such a strong and positive way, giving it eight point eight, and yet it's the very same factor you mark down Batman or, um, Arkham Origins for, like just that oh, complete hey. that complete polar opposites. Let's have a look at the mm. scores. IGN eight point eight. GameSpot, 8. Polygon, what do you reckon? 6. 6.5. Oh. Telling it like it is, baby. <laughs> the quad feed. Three. Quad feed, yeah. <laughs> do, do you want to have one each and go five? <laughs> so I'll, I'll, say, I'll say three or 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played it yet, though. Yeah, Have you intri- pre-ordered it? No, nah, no. Nah, I'll probably just grab it tomorrow. In true uh, Top Gear style, though, I reserve the right to um, to change my mind after I get the Xbox One version and take on a take on a really Clarkson-esque kind of uh, mindset about it. Go, this game is so bad, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> That guy's such a knob jockey. Shut up. I will not have you say anything bad. I mean, that is a bootable offense. If I could boot you right now for saying that, I would. What, Clarkson? Clarkson for PM. Clarkson for PM of that great nation of yours, Rishi. I'd be, Definitely. I'd be supporting Definitely. that. Definitely. Yeah. These are cunt nuts. Awesome. I would vote for him if I could. Even Mayor of London. Get Boris Johnson out. Get him out. Yeah. Clarkson comes Boris. in. Um, Boris Johnson is just a joker. <laughs> He sounds he sounds like he's on acid every single time. <laughs> he's he's the the mayor of your constituency though, Rish. I mean, he, he had to get voted in somewhere. Yeah, because he sounds so funny. That's why he's still in. Elected, he's just a elected public retard. official. He's just a fucking retard. <laughs> I'd love to see uh, Clarkson come to power though. He'd just like abolish every. Bus lane in London. Yeah. He'd like raise and the ban every cycles. Yeah, well, there'd be no more cycles. Ban of caravans. He'd up the speed limit to 140 miles an hour. Bomb all the caravans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Caravans would just be involved in a mass sort of burning, like some sort of World War Two. Or he would just borrow a plane and crash it. <laughs> a caravan type. Oh, Clarkson. We love you, Clarkson. Retweet this video, Clarkson. Um, <laughs> oh, me. Oh, me. That's if we see that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, let's go to... Let's go to a question, shall we? Why don't we start with your one, Rish? Yes? You might as, you might as well just <laughs> say it. <laughs> I, don't, I, 
I thought you I were going to say that and then just ask the question. Yeah, just, just a random question. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll read it out then. Um, I didn't think I'd be having to do this since the inventor of the question <laughs> is actually right in front of us, but still. Anyway, this guy called Rishi asked, <laughs> what is your favorite oh, movie? Oh, is, is he the guy in the podcast? He is, Ron. Yes, that's correct. Ah, uh, I get it. I get it now. Would, would you like to hear his question or is that still processing in your brain? It'll take a while. Okay. His question, if you would like it, is what is your favorite movie and who would you be in it? So a fairly simple question to start with and then... It's simple, but it's a tough question. And then how we would extrapolate one character and exchange ourselves for that. <laughs> Who wants to go off first? This is, this is truly run, great, run great go podcasting. First. What? Fuck off, I'm not going first. <laughs> <laughs> this one's hard. I was actually thinking just then. I, th- yeah, I would that... have thought you would have gone with Juno, uh, Ron, so that you could have your way with Ellen Page. That's just off what? the top of my head. Yeah. Michael, no, Michael will Sarah. have my or, way with her anyway. Or, she, or Ron could be Ellen Page. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yay. Yay? And then, and then he could just take you up the arse all the time. Like yeah, yeah like, I, I could have sex with myself all the time and I'd be completely content. <laughs> I'd just be so happy. That's a rather sort of existential view of it all, but yeah, okay, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or is it just the prospect of having sex with Michael Sarah that is completely <laughs> up your up your alley, so to speak? He is so man boyish. I I still love him though, and you know what? The things I would do. Have we... you guys? Have you guys seen This Is the End? Yeah. No, I'm yeah, saying... I was just about to say. Oh, Michael, Michael Sarah in that one. I'm fucking that <laughs> little. Wait, is that wait? Is that your answer? You want to be him? No, that? that's not my. No, that's not my answer. I'm just saying it's fucking hilarious. Oh. <laughs> I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Um, wait, somebody else go first. Oh, okay. uh, Snatch the movie, oh. and I'd be uh, Tyrone, the getaway driver. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> what Tyrone. the fuck is he getting a, gonna get away from? <laughs> I thought you'd be the dog. I thought you, I could picture you as the dog, though, Chris. <laughs> with the squeaky toy. With the squeaky toy. <laughs> yeah. Chris, you can be Riley. Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking tear people's face out. <laughs> I th- I, all I heard was face off then. I didn't know whether or not that was actually what you said. But... Oh, no, yeah. No, I no, no. You can rip people's, people's face people's... off. I was going to say, yeah. Face yeah, off. Chris could be totally uh, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Cage playing Travolta. Playing Travolta. That's just, you know, two worlds colliding that, you know, I would have thought would be <laughs> That is an amazing movie. Yeah. You could have you could have Nicholas Cage's crazy head with you know, the dancing the dancing finesse of John Travolta. I mean how does it get any better than that for you? That's just the ultimate. Can I change my answer to that? You, you can. Yeah. Yeah. He, but he doesn't dance in face off, does he? He dances uh, yeah. a little bit. He does dance really? a little bit, yeah. Spoiler the face. Spoiler yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> For people that haven't seen it. You haven't seen Face Off. That, that's oh, the funny yeah, thing. Seen... We, we came up I have seen with... Face Off for, for people that haven't seen it. We came up against this there last last week with, uh, with Carl in that, you know, obviously you guys being at such a young age, technically you haven't seen the quote-unquote classics of yeah, oh, I, I've seen loads of movies, man. Face Off. Names, I've seen it. I saw it like 10 years ago. Oh, you have seen yeah. Face Off? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. I, I thought you were saying He was hadn't. just saying, in case some of the viewers out there hadn't seen it, we should oh. do a spoiler face. Well. Yeah. I think the clue's in the title. It's like, I'm not sure where Face Off is coming from. <laughs> Whether or not the storyline has essentially been you know, played out in the, in the movie title. Yeah. <laughs> Ben, have you got an answer, mate? You're deep in um, thought there. Yeah, no, um, I was probably thinking Wayne's World, and I'd probably have to say Wayne from Wayne's World. <laughs> He's got a pretty damn good life. Yeah? Yeah, that's a good one, actually. And it's a fucking classic movie as well, so... Yeah. And Cassandra, she's hot. Yeah. She will be mine. 
<laughs> oh yes, she will be mine. I don't know, Wentworth too, Garth, had a pretty good one. Yeah, Kim. that's true. Was that Kim? Yeah. yeah. Kim, Kim ba Bazin, ba Basil, Bears of Billy Ball, Billy Ball, Bazingas, Billy Baldwin. <laughs> I'm Alec Baldwin. Ah, what a segue. Did you read the other day I'm that uh, I'm, ba I'm Baldwin? I'm Baldwin. <laughs> You see, he turned oh. down a uh, the chance to do a voice in in GTA. I'll say GTA because I, I can't remember what number it was. Yeah, yeah, I I, I think it was two, two or three. I think it was two. Yeah, two. Really, Alec Baldwin as as which character? It was the oh, one they, that... they they didn't say which one though. No, they did. It was the one that Ray Liotta played in the end. Oh, really, oh. Ray Liotta? Uh, you mean when which that's Vice City? That? It might be Vice City. My GTA knowledge is. Begins and ends at five. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of, no, kind of like Saints yeah. Row one, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chris's extensive <laughs> knowledge of the Saints Row series. Tell us more. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I, yeah. Uh, what? Which? Which Saints Row was the first Saints Row? <laughs> it's it's like um, Star Wars, how it starts out of order. I can't wait for these Christmas offerings. You've got surprise faggots in uh, board game form, and then you've got Saints Row 1, which uh, apparently is coming to EB Games and JB Hi-Fi. Near you. Oh, yeah, they started the, the what you call it, uh, the casting of Star Wars 6, 7, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Have, yeah. O but open casting too, so anyone can rock up. Open casting, it's and they've actually in given her a Bristol. A... Oh Is God, it? I can't really. remember. Oh, yeah, I think it's Bristol. Ghibli's from Bristol. Get him down here as down there as some uh, paint him green or something, and, and and put a pair of horns on his head or something, make him into some. some... No, he'll probably be. He'll probably just be one of the side characters, just shirtless walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Ghibli, you heard it here first, mate. Get down there. Um, Who's they've... Ghibli? Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> December, December 18th, 2015. Yep. That's when it's coming out. 2015. Yep. Also in 2015, there's going to be a Terminator reboot, apparently. What? Oh, uh, yeah. A reboot? It's not, not going to be a reboot. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is still going to be in it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Where's my Have they story? talked about who's going to be the Terminator at all, or casting-wise? Yeah, he'll be the Terminator. Oh, okay. Oh, he's coming back. Mm. I think so they should have a new I, Terminator. I, 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 no, I know there's a Terminator 6 coming out. I don't know when that's coming out, though. I think it's, no, Terminator 5. Jeez, I mean... I think that's what the reboot's about. It's just, you know, he's still going to be the Terminator, though. Yeah. He'll always be the Terminator, I think. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, the lead, uh, one of the roles for Sarah Connor is going to go to some girl who's in uh, Game of Thrones at the moment, Amelia Clark. Oh, she's. Oh, uh, she's hot. Yeah, she's. Um, Which one's she? The the dragon lady. Um, uh, okay. Daenerys. Or Khaleesi, all that kind of shit. She's the got like fifty. One. She's got fifty names in that show. Hmm. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger is still attached to Star. Paramount is the new distributor, and the film is aiming for a July 1, 2015 release date. This is planned to be the first film in a new trilogy of films. So this is going to be... Actually, I'll take, I'll take back that she's hot thing. She's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't you like changed that. your mind just then. Yeah. Well, which was thinking, which I one were you referring to? Downgrading uh, your hotness. I just looked at her actual picture. <laughs> so in the show she's hot, but in yeah, in the show she's hot. In this one, she, in real life, she's fucking ugly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know, the power of makeup. To be, a... what? Well, to be to be honest, I don't even watch Game of Thrones, so I'm just. <laughs> sure. Technically, I don't either. I'm up to season one, episode two. So yeah, I'm well. I'm, I'm five. I'm five minutes into season one, episode one, and I started that. Two months ago. 
<laughs> well, con- considering... Still haven't finished that, first, that episode. I had got five minutes into it and I'm like, fuck, this isn't shit. What is great? Got, got off it and start watching Formula 1. Because <laughs> I found out the Formula 1 race was coming on. <laughs> Hell. Instead of watching like medieval like uh, people it's run around with swords and stabbing each other, I'm gonna watch a bunch of cars drive in a circle. That's that's, 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 that's NASCAR. NASCAR, you twat. NASCAR. <laughs> I know what I fucking said, shitheads. It's I'm that's talking about driving, one, that's driving in a fucking nutshell, is it not? What it's is a it? fucking it's we're driving in a circle. I can't watch it. It's like watching golf. It's boring. Why did you what sound like a why did you sound like a person from Alabama though? What what was the reference to that? Yeah. Oh South Park. Okay. Cool. That's okay, that's because they were talking Cotton about. Cotton makes fun of NASCAR drivers. Um, oh yeah, we're when gonna, he's we're when gonna, he's gonna drive, gonna drive straight and turn left. <laughs> turn left. <laughs> drive straight and turn left some more. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good old uh looks like Target are in a bit of hot water in the States. Is it the States? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a state. How much well, would you do. love to be a Target employee? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting no well, Xbox. especially the one who did it. Yeah. Apparently it wasn't just one. There's like hundreds of people. Mm. What happened? They have already sent people Xbox ones. Oh. By mistake. Awesome. Due to a quote So unquote, people did a pre-order. Systems and, error. Uh, that's brilliant. Man, I, I wish I get a free, I get free things sent to me. Yeah. <laughs> a free vacation for man get sent right to my door. Yeah. <laughs> no, but apparently, um, everyone was saying that the consoles won't work because of the patch. But apparently, people have already downloaded the patch. Yeah, I was going to say that is uh, partially true because the story I've got here says uh, one: uh, the pre-order that has arrived, the user has reportedly been banned. Although uh, the ban will probably be lifted. Um, it's already. Yeah. Uh, according it to the source, um, the the, twi- the user was able to download the system's required day one patch. Although systems like Netflix and Hulu were unavailable. Um, he was only able to download a few things, uh, Killer Instinct by the looks of it, NBA 2K14. Um, according to this person, games are playable after the download is about halfway finished. So that kind of lends a bit more information to that whole, you know, able to play before it full download. That's pretty cool. Um, the guy got his account unbanned and then now he's been invited to the launch party yeah but he's already had his own launch party (laughs) you know what though the cynic in me goes that could easily turn into a quite an effective marketing campaign because he did an unboxing video on youtube so it's like removed removed quote unquote by microsoft shortly after the twitter user also claims to have been console banned um but my, uh, Major Nelson, the guy who's, uh, I think he's their main sort of point of contact for Microsoft, said it won't be permanent. Yeah. Mm. At least three pre-orders have apparently been delivered early with one console briefly turning up on eBay. Awesome. <laughs> Can you imagine that though? I mean, what sort of bell end would you have to be to like go, yeah, I'm going to set them. I'm putting on Ron's voice now. I'm going to send this Xbox One out. Yep. Straight to the doorstep. Wait, you, you mean Ron doing a Southern American? That's it. Like NASCAR fan? I drive NASCAR. I got my Xbox One. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play NASCAR on it. <laughs> we go straight and turn to the left. Go and turn left some more. <laughs> the, the one that was sold or was advertised on eBay... Um, I think was advertised at ten thousand dollars too. What the fuck? Oh, okay, no. I just yeah. found I just found one right now. Uh, it's for it's eighteen minutes left. Seven hundred and nineteen nineteen dollars ninety nine cents. Yeah, the guy put it up for ten thousand because he thought he was the only one. Mm. Uh, but then other people came out and said that they got theirs early. So <laughs> his uh, marketing tool of being the the only one was a bit. Too early. 
Well, the other one was the uh, the white one, which was actually legit, and that's going to charity, I think. Nice. I think it was one of the uh, employees' ones because the employees get um, white versions. Oh, cool. okay. Which is kind of cool. I'd buy a white one if it's going in my lounge room. Um, so they won't make a white one because the employees have it. Didn't they have a white 360, though? Yeah, 360s were white originally. Yep. One's in my lounge room. I've got a black one sitting here. Yeah. Although this is going to go into the lounge room. The Xbox One's going to be used as a doorstop. And uh, <laughs> the old Xbox 360 is going to be used as a doorstop. But it's like pride of place right here. Let's see. Let's see the shitness. Ron. <laughs> Yo. What's your favourite Captain Planet character? <laughs> uh, that'd have to be Marty, the kid. That what? Where's he fucking from? South South Africa? I imagine Brazil, isn't he? I think it Brazil? was Mexico or somewhere. Mexico? Yeah, was he Mexican? Mexico. Mexico. I think it was Mexico. He is the kid who got completely fucked over because he has the worst power. Heart. And he has a, he's such a useless ass character, he's got, a, he has to have a fucking monkey sidekick. <laughs> he, he just got the fucking short stick, he is the unlucky one, the, all the others, I can shoot fucking fire, I can like control water, I can make fucking like m rocks and shit appear, and fucking, I can blow you, oh wait, yeah. Sorry, that was the wind girl. Uh, you know what I mean. But like, um, it's too late. I've got then... that as a soundbite now. That's brilliant. Surprise, yeah. <laughs> faggots. Surprise, faggots. I'm going to blow you. Surprise, faggots. I'm going to blow you. That's it. Done. On loop for 10 hours. That's going to be my new ringtone. <laughs> hey, enjoy it, all right, perverts. But Marty is one who gets completely raped with his shitty little fucking ring where he can, what, talk to animals? Or he can make animals dance. Fuck, whatever the fuck it is, it's stupid. He's oh, is stupid. that what it does? I thought it actually yeah, did nothing right? at all. So <laughs> I didn't know it had... His juice is like Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. I think what it meant is he was able to give people like cardiograms or something and be able to figure That's out whether or not fuck. they're on like... I thought it was all the monkey. It was all the monkey. The monkey did everything. That's what I thought. The monkey did everything. Yeah. I, Marty I have couldn't... never seen this program. So he's in no position... What is wrong with him? <laughs> It is the greatest show ever. Watch it, and then tell me how much you hated it. <laughs> it is that good. So he doesn't have any sort of cardiothoracic training. Is that what you're trying to say? Mm -hmm. That's what I think so. Okay. I, I, I don't know what those words meant. They were really big and long. Well, it's got to do with heart, so but anyway. That fell flat. Cool, we'll move on. Um... <laughs> Waste it. Wasted joke because Ron didn't know what cardiothoracic meant. Let me look it up. Can you spell it? It's a type of dinosaur. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Cardiothoracic it's Park. It's great. It's going to be the new movie yeah. in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go with that joke? That joke was better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe you remember the theme song. <laughs> Are you making a dinosaur with me? <laughs> <laughs> and then came a ninja! <laughs> and a Nazi! Yeah. My that black son! My black wrong. son! <laughs> <laughs> Who's also a ninja? Oh, the, the ninja and Nazi both fucked one in the yard. <laughs> 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 Wow, I didn't think I'd have to censor you, Rishi. Jesus. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't even, know where, don't even know where that came from. Yeah. It's just kind of like, that just happened. It's like, huh. wait, what? <laughs> we were just joking about Family Guy, and then boom. Two the random and two oh, random groups of people came me. together in Ricky's head and just thought, I'll just throw this together in one sort of butt-raping <laughs> fantasy of mine. We're just and... there in the fantasy. <laughs> I was completely unaware of it happening. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, the I ninja know. was quick. The Nazi was rough. I know what's going to be on uh, Rishi's Christmas card this year. 
A picture of Ron what? being set upon by a ninja <laughs> and a bloody Nazi. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, Rish. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. The visuals write themselves. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, I was online the other day. <laughs> awesome. I'm uh, online all the time. There was there was a fan made film for uh, Splinter Cell called Extraction. I can now ask one thing. It's freaking awesome. What the fuck is what the fuck is Splinter Cell? What the fuck is Splinter Cell? Are you trying to pull a Ron on me now? <laughs> no, I didn't. I did not know what it is. Splinter Cell. Wait, really? no, no, he's got to be joking, right? Sam, I'm not joking. I bloody hope he's joking. I know you're I'm young. not joking. That's it. A bit of Sam Sam Fisher memorabilia. Oh, is that a watch? That is a watch, yeah. Oh. Um, okay, well, none of you have seen it, obviously. So uh, No, I, I haven't will... seen that one at all. You know how you, usually with fan-made stuff, you can tell it's 100% fan-made? This has yeah. got all the multiple camera angles of something that you know wouldn't look out of place in like Taken or Taken 2, like really good choreography, fight scenes. So shit from, shit from China? No, basically. no, it's American. American. No, but the Chinese people from in China they make the same shit and looks exactly the same. Like cars, for example. What what conversation are we having? Are we talking about Chinese cars? In no, relation I'm, I'm to talking about, Wait, was, this just, was this just like the ninja and the Nazi raping me thing? <laughs> Where it just like came out of nowhere. Yeah. So I'm just like uh... Wait, whoa. No, but, were we talking about Splinter Cell a second ago? <laughs> it sounded like you were talking yeah, about the, no, build, the build quality of Chinese-made cars. I was, I was talking about the build quality of fake shit that China makes. Ah. Oh, yeah. Imitations. Oh, yeah. Well, no, this has nothing to do with that. Um, the <laughs> <laughs> this, was a fa- this was clearly done in a studio with, uh, you know, awesome... Yeah, good actor. I mean, complete, so it, complete no names, but it looked brilliant. I will. It was done by talented fans. Talented instead fans. Instead of fans that have no talent. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, cast your mind back to I think prior to when the uh, I think the very first rebooted uh, Batman movie came out. There was that Batman versus Joker um, sort of fan made thing, and whilst it looked cheesy as fuck, it kind of got you in the mood for. You know, an all new kind of Batman character. It looked like Batman was wearing pajamas, but you know, he was didn't didn't quite. Yeah, look like Batman's Batman fighting crime in his in his sleeping <laughs> sleeping outfit. <laughs> it's all loose and flowing, and <laughs> not quite as form fitted fitted. Made from flannel. Probably yeah. just walk off and start going. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do some. Let's fuck up some Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and then straight back to bed. Let's do some weird had news. I uh, had the morning, uh, what you call it, hard on as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, the bad rag right there. Are you just rolling a dice and then just like <laughs> thinking of random shit to say? It's a <laughs> pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Let's talk about my morning glory. <laughs> like one... He's got like a D&D sort of 20-sided dice. It's like number 20 relates to, oh, it looks like I'm talking about my heart on. Number 15. Ah, and Nazis raping Ron. You brought up ninjas and Nazis. Number 12. Can I use a fish finger as a dildo? Family guy. Yeah. Well, since things have got a bit weird, uh, I thought I'd uh, open up a the first of a first of a couple of weird stories because I think this one's in the UK, if uh, if memory serves. Two surprised burglars were forced to flee after breaking and entering into the house of an axe throwing expert. <laughs> How sick is that? Wait, are we back again? What? What? <laughs> Read that back again. Uh, Really? Yeah. <sighs> Two surprised burglars were forced to flee after breaking and entering into the house of an axe-throwing expert. Oh, sweet. 
piss on the two burgers. <laughs> <laughs> There's another roll of the die. <laughs> the imagery here is, have, is captivating. She does, looks like she's does, looks like she's wielding what looks to be several tomahawks. I, did, I just thought it was uh, it was poignant because you know she wouldn't look out of place in like Call of Duty, like Vic Star, just throwing throwing knives left, right, and center. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I'm trying to see if there's any sort of uh, like some sort of circus-like behaviour that she came from before, but it's just a random thing for her. To... <laughs> that's like the that's um, the skill in... she picked up somewhere. Yeah, that's like in I Sydney. A couple. Of... Okay. Sorry, about that's like in it? yeah in Sydney a couple of years ago. Um, the lady got mugged right in front of like the karate dojo, and basically ninjas. <laughs> Trained like ninjas, chased down the robber, and then went wait, wait, and raped Ninjas Rob. trained like ninjas. Were they yeah. Nazis trained like Nazis? Yeah. And did they go after Ron afterwards? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they yeah. did. Well, there was that guy. It was more recently as well. There was another one where a guy broke into um, the house of an ex-boxing champion, and he got his ass handed to him. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I've come for your yeah. wallet, and then oh dear, what's happened here? Bang! Next thing you know, he's. Nina, Nina. <laughs> off the <to> hospital <laughs> and his face just caved in poor bastard and he's like a 66 year old man as well he well and truly went to town on this guy oh wow yeah he must have been good back in the day oh yeah he, was kind of he like, must have been good at boxing. was it it wasn't sylvester Stallone, was it no it was this is old guy that you wouldn't suspect i mean for for a 66 year old or however old he was you know he kept himself in shape obviously still trained a little bit but you could just you could just picture this guy you know, as soon as all this was going down, it's kind of like, you know what? I've had a bad day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open a can on this guy. <laughs> Next thing you know, bang. It reminded me of the story that I heard where these uh these guys walked into a um an internet cafe in the States. I think I I only only Drop my memory oh. this, of this story where the guy walked into the internet cafe and there was this old guy in the back. Yeah, and he was. They walked in. Why are you looking at old guys in the internet cafe? Yeah. The what? I missed that. Why were you looking at old guys in the internet cafe? Oh, this is how I roll. <laughs> no, but the guy in the back. It was. It's one of those states where you know you know, conceal carry licenses and stuff. Yeah. And next thing you know, he's just filled this would be would be assailant. <laughs> I'm just completely full of holes. Poor guy. <laughs> Every gun toting American's wet dreams like oh, Yeah. A chance to use it. I could put on my American voice for here, Ryan. It's nice. Keep it up. <laughs> Good for the rest of the show. <laughs> but but do gonna... people actually get in trouble for that in America? Well, what I mean, doing if... those voices? <laughs> yeah, I think you'll find that's oh, their accent. Fun. That's pretty much their accent. No, yeah. like if if you're in a bank or something and it's getting robbed and you, you have a gun and you shoot the robber, don't you get charged with like attempted murder or something? Well, you get I mean, charged with being awesome and stopping the robbers. <laughs> they even like have this guy who is specially trained to give you a mad high five after <laughs> you foil the robbery. And he's then he's like Fuck yeah, buddy. And boom, you fucking slap it. You hear the, you know, it's awesome. That guy is cool. It's, it's, it's like a happy slap. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mash right across the face. <laughs> it, well, that's that's if you're the robber. He'll, like, he'll happily slap them in the faces, but if you foil the robbery, he's the high five guy. He's got a sweet moustache. <laughs> This is all intriguing, but uh, let's <laughs> move on to this the next This is more story. random than what I've said. <laughs> it's more random than what I've been saying. Slightly, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get, come up to your level, man. I'm rolling the dice. I can roll in it. Well, maybe this, uh, maybe this next one will change the mood then. Drunk woman caught having sex in car park tries to wear cheeseburger as a shoe. <laughs> that one just hurt my head. <laughs> I don't. I, I, uh, oh, good. Well, that shut you up. I didn't realise it was as, as easy as you know having to tell you about a woman that needed to wear a cheeseburger as a shoe. 
He's thinking about the cheeseburger, that's why. Yeah. Well, I'm hungry, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry <laughs> too, actually. <laughs> about if you've done that. <laughs> a woman, little. A woman who was arrested after she was caught having sex in a car park was so drunk that she tried to wear a cheeseburger on her foot as a sandal. Um, basically, she was pulled over by the police. and uh, Wait, so she was driving while having sex? Uh... In a car park. <laughs> Rachel and Frank were having sex in the car park of a Waffle House in Georgia. Classy. Uh, when Loganville authorities arrested them. Um, what was it here? When the female finally got dressed, she attempted to put a cheeseburger on her foot. Finally got dressed. As if it was a sandal. <laughs> I guess oh, that yeah, would no, speak no. to her level of intoxication, he said. Adding that he'd never seen anything like that before. I mean, yeah, obviously. He's obviously never been to a music festival. <laughs> yeah, people using yeah. burgers as footwear. Yeah, burger shoes are like a very normal thing at music festivals. Yeah. I'm sure uh, burger-based footwear is a really big thing. At, uh, at these I heard it's big in Coachella. Uh, burger shoes aren't the only thing that's big in festivals, man. Music festivals. He got it. Who here is a Mass Brownies, Effect fan? Brownies are massive. Brownies are massive in music festivals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the fucking hamburger shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hamburger <laughs> shoes. Fuck. It'll end up on fashion police anyway, so don't worry about it. J.D. <laughs> Varga will wear it to a uh, thing, a music festival or something That's like that, outfit. too. Wait, was it Lady Gaga? I was going to say, all, all it would take would be, you know, for someone like Lady Gaga to wear it once for it to turn into the next bullshit trend that you see in Top top Shop or... I thought you were going to say Top Gear for a second. Top Gear. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Cheeseburger wheels. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, um, man. That would be the best taxi ever, actually. <laughs> Who here is a Mass Effect fan? Yeah. Uh, good... I don't mind it. It's okay. a good game. Fan. Apparently Mass there was Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Yeah. I, I seriously can't hear everyone just talking over book. <laughs> like just when you start to talk, everyone else just starts talking. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's technically not my that's fault. Not a, uh, <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, oh damn. <laughs> Mass Effect. Oh Mass Effect. Oh. Yeah, I'm a Mass Effect fan of it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there was an image uh, in the week where I think it was the the, the head sort of uh, head designer or game creator showed him sort of kicking back in his office and it was very very blurred but it looked like oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> anything to contribute other than that or nope cool so, yeah. I just thought if any, if any of you had seen it, and I mean, uh, I, yeah, I haven't seen I it. I tried to get into Mass Effect a couple of years ago, but just couldn't. So, really, why? I don't know. I I I think left to my own devices, I just don't really like being put in in the situation where I'm like choose your own adventure. Kind of, this is what you should say to this versus you know having sex with blue aliens or something. If I'm Shepard, or... <laughs> we, we, did you only try the first one or like? Because it got better in the by the second, and the third was just good, but the second was the, the highlight, I reckon. Yeah, the second one was the best. It was the first game that I tried to get into. Yeah, number one. Because I found like the the parts where you're driving the the lunar rover, whatever the fuck it is, that the wheel thing, you would land and look for resources. That was just tedious and just kind of stupid. Oh yeah, number three. That's shit. Yeah. That they, part. Yeah, they, they, they got they got rid of that though, but like I don't know, I I enjoyed it. I thought the story was good. Oh, except right at the end. I was gonna say this spoiler face ending fiasco. Spoiler face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which which one did you guys choose out of three? Ah, uh, shit. Uh I decided to kill the humans or something. Like I I don't even know because all the endings Trust are the same right. anyway, right? No, they're yeah. all different. Yo, what they have different colors? That's right. Red, yeah, yeah, green, exactly. and blue. 
Yeah, and then the endings are completely different. Um, the the parts so where cool like where where he he survives or um where the crew gets away, but they're like really slight mm -hmm. compared to the overall ending, which is in every single ending. Yeah, the crew gets away in every single ending, like and that the crash lands in a random planet. Yeah, that yeah. Looks like a... Yeah, so like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, fucking Seth Green gets the boner robot. Yeah. Uh, good on him. <laughs> oh, is that, and then... is that your spoiler face? No, Gab, Gab's doing it. That's the uh, spoiler face extended director's cut edition. Cause... <laughs> and then... yeah. I thought and you were then... just lost. You guys don't even play the fucking game now. You're pretty much giving everything away. <laughs> we, we put the spoiler face <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Gavin, we're just playing the spoiler face. Yeah. <laughs> we should have a two-hour podcast just of spoiler face and everyone just hitting mute because they don't want to hear that. You know what? That's their problem. Like I said last week, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them up the ass. Operation Shit Feedback on Skillsy Shooter channel. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in the quad feed... Quad po uh, quad feed will not be attempted for any sponsorships. <laughs> so we're not getting KFC sponsorship. We'll fuck them. <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that, but Mr. J587 posed the question of would Ron rather get his KFC sponsorship or spend a night with Ellen Page? Oh, Ellen Page, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Ellen Page, Ellen Page, Ellen Page, Ellen Page. Because you can go so, buy KFC. Can you, can you yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. Because that's the thing. Like, I could just get KFC. I'm not going to fucking get to Bono all the... Christ, I hope she's watching. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> yeah. Was that to KFC or to Ellen Page, just to be clear? That was actually KFC. All oh, right. Because <laughs> that's the thing. The Ellen Page thing is going to happen, so... Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that question. Who was that guy? That was a leg, uh, leg, breast, and thigh kind of based question there as well. There's a joke in this. Uh, there's an, yeah, there's another question as well. Uh, really? Where are these being posted? Twitter. Oh, well, right. they come. They come to me, but obviously you don't. You're not on Twitter. You don't follow me, so I don't see it. Um, Actually, they go to the quad feed. Well, for that for that one, yeah. If I decide to put the the uh, the handle in there. Uh, well, no, that thanks was for the question. That Keep them coming. That was from Mr. J587, another guy who uh, frequents the uh, streams. That uh, He posted another one as well saying, do you think a Steam cell type system will ever exist on the PSN Xbox Live? Read the other part of the question. I already answered that. The full question, the full question, uh, I, I didn't expect Rishi to read it anyway, was, do you think a Steam sale type system will ever exist on the PSN slash Xbox Live? Also, why is Rishi such a scrib? <laughs> What's a scrib? Scrib. Scrib. Really that. scrib is an affectionate term that uh, I think Jay pretty much came up with. It's a modification yeah, of scrub, he, I dare say. Yeah, he just start running the thing and then... But I don't want no scrubs. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from, from me, me, hanging out the passenger side, side of his best, best friend's ride, ride, trying to yeah, trying to hold at me. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not sure if they've been a like a parody video. I don't want no scribs. <laughs> I don't know. That will be now. So I was going to say yeah. maybe yeah maybe there's a window. Maybe there's a window in there for you, there, everyone. Mm, Release fuck. that video. As long as I get the fuck Ellen Page, that's all. <laughs> I'll be back on that again. Good. Yeah. Um, to answer your question, uh, I don't know why Rishi is such a scrib. <laughs> I'm not a scrib. <laughs> um, I'm sure that will reveal itself in many of his random ramblings and random thoughts that pop into his head about Nazis, ninjas, rape, and Ron in whatever order they decide to come out of his head. I don't know. Maybe that's a topic for next week. Um, no! So a Steam type sales system for PlayStation. Well, they kind Network. of have that, don't they? Yeah, it's getting it's getting slowly towards that point. Um, I think if they were, sorry, 
So when he means steam sales, does he mean like the steam summer sales where they have like the massive blitz on all the prices or oh, does he mean shit, something Ben, else? when did you get here? Sorry, <laughs> I fell asleep for a bit. Yeah, Is that what yeah. he means by sale yeah. or like the summer sale or because uh, I don't get it. You can already, or, or does he mean like all the stuff which steam now sells that we'll be able to get all those sort of similar things like the products, the product range. Yeah, I mean, that when he says steam will be next week. Steam sale. I imagine when he says Steam sale, it, it might be, um, you know, you know, well, sell, sell a really probably be like that. The what? Steam games, like only games on Steam or something like that. Yeah. Oh. If they will be available on the Xbox side or PSN. Well, um, but some of them are, aren't they? It's... Yeah, most of them are. Most of them are like normal games, but. Some yeah. games are exclusive to Steam. I think he means that. Oh well, that's why Steam has their own console now. Yeah, I would yeah. be assuming they wouldn't because then no one's going to buy their console, or not as many. Mm. And plus, you get all the Steam games you bought on your PC. It will be on mm. your console straight away. Yeah, exactly. I think their prototype know, got they... uh, finally got launched last week. I saw a photo of what looked like a very inconspicuous looking Xbox kind of sized uh, prototype. Uh, I think it's called the Steam Box. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in terms of the Steam sale type of model, um, I mean, th there's a lot of positives to it, obviously. The the fact that you can de you can decrease the the price of a game by 20 30 percent or something and and sell a buttload of yeah. more copies than what you would have done you know taking up shelf space in a retail store who normally wouldn't buy it yeah like they'll have a sale where it's you know a trilogy of games cheaper people who would only buy maybe the one game that they've heard their friends about mm. uh talk about yet they end up buying all three so and there's a there's a bit of a shoehorn kind of uh, mentality to it as well. Like if you if you didn't know whether or not you're going to plonk down for Battlefield Four, I mean there's there's no reason in the in the world why you wouldn't discount Battlefield Three heavily just to try and get that um, I suppose feel good factor and you know dip your toe in the water kind of thing and go yep this is a game that I wanna that I wanna buy I'm going to pay full price for Battlefield Four because I got Battlefield Three at such a good you know good price kind of thing. And that year on year, I suppose. I mean, you know, if I if I knew if I hadn't plonked down for Battlefield Four and I was able to get Battlefield Three at a discount, is that enough to tip me over the line and go, yeah, I'll I'll buy Battlefield Five next year when it comes out or whatever? But I think there'll definitely be something because all the games coming out seem to have DLC now. Mm. So you need a you need something like that to get it. Yeah. I mean, there'll be there'll always be exclusives to to different platforms and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I I can't wait. I mean, there's every single game that I that I have here, apart from I suppose some of the the, the really awesome ones like um, oh, what was the uh, the bike the bike game uh, Trials Trials Evolution. I think that's pretty much the the only game that I've actually downloaded um, in a non sort of physical form. Um, and all because, I mean, the only thing that put that across the line was the fact that I got it so cheaply. You know? And the whole, the currency system on, on Xbox Live is now going to be far less confusing and, you know, using actual money rather than, you know, some sort of point-based structure. Point. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So just so just taking the, taking the page out of PSN. Yeah. I mean, that was something that they did, right? I don't have to convert how many Microsoft points, and you always left a bit short, so you have to. I mean, that was by design as well. You have to buy two lots of two lots of credits to get uh, to get a game that you know, might not necessarily have cost that much if you were to buy it um, in a retail se uh, retail setting. But them's the breaks. But yeah, moving forward, you'll be able to just plonk down the amount of money that uh, that the game costs, buy it, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, I do think it would. Uh, it would be good, Mister J. Five, eight, seven. 
Wow. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know. I just heard Chris breathing and then, then he stopped, so I thought you might have died. <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> oh, I don't know who that was. So what's going on with the? Uh, I read that the uh, that guy that King hit that guy in King's Cross got four years jail. What bullshit is that? Bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. Which guy in King's Cross? So, um, was it two years ago, guys? Uh, Wait, which like King's that? Cross? Uh, no, Australia. Australia. Oh, in Australia. Australia. I'm just getting a backstory for Rish. Um, the, the there was a guy just on on a night out, young kid, 18 years old, completely, you know, minding his own business kind of thing, and some fuckwit comes up behind him. King hits him. He hits his head on the pavement, and he dies. Um. Completely random, completely bullshit, and uh, his sentence came through. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Four years jail. Wow. Didn't that guy think of Little Boy's family? The what? Little Boy's family. The one that died. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, he was only like, he was like 18 himself, you know, just out on a night out. It was wow. his first, it was his first trip First, into, first time there. Yeah. Mm. So now that whole thing, I mean, <laughs> every time I'm talking to mum and dad, it's like, oh, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I've got a party in uh, in King's Cross. So, oh, will you be careful? I was like, oh, God. I'm going to yeah. put, up, put up with that for the next umpteen years. Kind of go yeah. to King's Cross without getting supposedly king hit every time. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd bring a serious topic to the quad feed yeah. realm, just in case you guys had an opinion of it. All because he was able to show remorse but I mean I'd, I'd be willing to show remorse if I knew I had four years worth of raping coming to yeah. me in the showers eh Ron <laughs> fuck I wouldn't know anything about that <laughs> what, well about raping what because they're not Nazis or ninjas you mean <laughs> well you yeah, know that, that's more my style yeah, yeah. uh I haven't been to jail. He's racist, man. How? Why? Why? Why do they have to be a Nazi? Why do they have to be a ninja? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I better go easy on those Nazis. Yeah. What have they ever done to you? Or humanity, for that, that matter. I should just really go easy on them, hey. <laughs> yeah. You know. You know. We actually didn't. Um. We all didn't answer the movie question. Who did yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah. Okay. All well, the way, I can't all be way expected through. to marshal this entire quad feed. I really <laughs> thought you were the host of this, right? Well, mate, I, I come up with everything. <laughs> I can't be the traffic. I can't be the traffic director as well as the. Uh... You, didn't well, you, come up with that you did do the thing where it was like, uh, Chris, Ben, and then you just moved on. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody else got a chance. Wait, Ben, did you answer it? Yeah, I said uh, Wayne's World, Wayne. That's so, right, yeah. Chris, Chris got Chris went with Snatch. Well. Snatch. Rishi went I with a, be... a ninja movie or something, didn't he? Or... No, I didn't even know. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, go ahead. I in, think in, you in got the interest of completing that segment. In the interest of completing that segment, let's uh, see uh, what you had to say. I'll have to choose uh, between Howard and Kumar. No, oh, hey. Which one are you? One of them. One of them too. <laughs> He's the Asian guy. <laughs> Or Rambo, one of them three. Rambo. Rambo? Literally just between one of them three. I'll probably choose one of Harold and Kumar. Probably it... Kumar because his wife is fucking hot. Not Harold <laughs> I mean. In real life? No, in the movie. Oh, right. Because she, like... she has a Mexican wife and she is fucking hot. What is happening there with your screen? Yeah, that's you are just happen. rubbing that's one out violently under the table. Yeah, <laughs> the whole the that's... whole table is like shaking. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just moving my laptop because my because I don't have a fan. That's some next level masturbation when you have to <laughs> cause an earthquake. Not like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that, and then my screen just shakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've just given all six of our viewers motion sickness. 
And they'll survive. And they will survive. Um, what was Ron's? What was yours? Ron? Did you? Uh, I, I reckon. Uh, I think we're missing the obvious now, choice here, though. Now, now let <laughs> now let me now Cincinnati. let me think. Cincinnati. <laughs> Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> sin, sin. Nah. T, uh, no, I, I was actually thinking probably. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, that was Castro. Oh. Yeah. What did we say? You got a phone. Yeah. What? He muted. What's for he dinner? What's for phone. dinner, Chris? Chris. Yeah, I uh, have to make an early exit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because um, it's pretty late here. <laughs> well, there's no fucking time difference. Yeah, it's the same time here, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's two a.m. where I am. Where is it there? <laughs> <laughs> he's turned his mic off. He's like, now I don't have to answer you, assholes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Make it an early. One p.m. Answer. here. Ah, oh, great. Mm-hmm. Just before I answered the question too. So, so let, for fuck so sake. let me, Gavin, what's your answer? You know answer so. Yeah, what's yours, man? Uh, Tony Stark or the Green Lantern? I'm not, I haven't decided. The Green Lantern? From, from that actual movie, the Ryan Reynolds movie? Because that was horrible. It was horrible, but... I get to terrible. I get to imagine pretty much anything that I I want, and I get to go to bed with Blake Lively. Who's, mm, who can I don't write her. I'm, I'm sorry, what? I don't write her. Where to go is that, that. that? Where's that drop button? Seriously, <laughs> that is blasphemous <laughs> in my world. She, she's she's okay. She's nothing special. Oh my god. Oh, see you, see you, Chris. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no buy, no buy. I'm fucking gone. That's it. <laughs> Triple feed. Um, uh, well, Chris says his goodbyes, ladies and, g- ladies and gentlemen. Chris says his goodbyes, and hopefully uh, you'll miss his sparkling repartee uh, in in the rest of this podcast, which might not be much <laughs> if uh, we continue on current form. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I, th- I think the um, Tony Stark. Tony Stark's a good the- one. Yeah, I didn't think yeah, of that one. Yeah, yeah. Didn't even think about that. All the cars. Okay. I mean, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. Yeah, she's. Uh, mm. I don't rate her. She's a bit mm. mannish. Mind you, though. she's mannish. I just reckon really? she's nothing special. What about Thor? Natalie Portman. Yeah, no, that's better. That is <laughs> considerably better. Yeah. It's way better. Or Hawkeye with Scarlett Johansson. Are they involved? They they, they don't burn, do they? They 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 they're have not, history. They're not burn. They're they have feelings for each other. Uh, yeah, but nobody cared for them, hey. Well, they're not super for a start. I thought the main yeah. the main indication of being superheroes is the fact that you were super. Nothing super about him. Or is he that... uses a bow and arrow. Fuck. And two berettas. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> She's a master assassin. Awesome. She's the second Black I... Widow. The first one was uh, Agent Peggy. From Captain America. Are you are you oh. a comic nerd? I say that affectionately. Are you a comic guy? Uh, a little bit. No, not. What I mean for the uninitiated, tell me what a good uh, Batman series is to start with. Nightfall. Nightfall. Is that with any degree of knowledge or no? Nightfall's the best. Tell. Really? Okay. I shall write that down. Thank you, Ron, for that most helpful piece of advice. I, I, I like most. I like most of the Batman series. So, and Iron I, Man. I wouldn't be able to tell you which one. Yeah. What about Iron Man? I, right? I wouldn't be able. To. I don't know that much about Iron Man. I got to say, but I know uh, Devil Devil in a Bottle is the a really good one because it talks about his alcoholism. They thought that that was what they were gonna um, uh, base the third movie on, and they didn't. And it's one of his best story arcs. So. Devil in a bottle. I can't tell if you're trolling me right now. <laughs> no, no. Okay. That's his serious face. It's legit. His story checks out. 
<laughs> you, you ask, and I'm just saying, yeah, I reckon those. Ben's doing background Nightfall's, checks. Nightfall's the best as well. <laughs> Ben's like yeah, running it through every database known to man. It's like, yeah, that checks out. Nightfall. <laughs> Nightfall's brilliant. That's the best one for Gen Batman. Genie in a bottle. Oh, hang on. No, type one. De devil. <laughs> well, I think it's demon. Demon in a bottle or devil. Something like a demon. I'm pretty sure it's demon in a bottle. Cool. That checks out. It's Check something it out. I wanted to get back into because, you know, I want to, I want to, I, I might have mentioned it last week. I bought like the DC comic app and the Marvel app and at $2 a pop, it's kind of really easy to, to you know, just download comic after comic after comic. In, in getting back into that kind of, uh, so I, I was into it at one stage, but then I'd, I'd love to know at what point I decided to go. You know what? I think I'm getting too old for this now, and now for me to come full circle and and want to get back into the old uh, and the figurines as well. I mean, it's surprising what a, a figurine can do to to kick off a, a collection with the Titanfall collector's edition. Wasn't that a? Fan? I really like that uh, that fan figurine you have in the background it's there. Good, isn't it? It's lifelike. It's um, it's actually a, it's a bit of fan art. Shit um, is insane, man. That shit looks realistic. Oh, you Life size. It. You missed it. It's a bit of fan art. Insane. Yeah. Insane. I would have to say the Invincible Iron Man. That's a good Iron Man series. So. Yeah. I went into King's Comics yesterday and. Uh, you know, it, to the uninitiated, I mentioned it a few weeks ago. It's like you stand there and go, "What the fuck?" And I kid you not, the Iron Man is probably the, one of the biggest, apart from Batman, is probably one of the biggest sections of the entire store. It's probably as wide as my wingspan. It's like, oh, the Invincible Iron Man. Okay, I don't want to get uh, the Defeatable Iron Man. I didn't want to get that series. <laughs> He dies episode. Defeatable Iron Man. Defeatable Iron Man. Not as good a series. He dies in episode one. <laughs> Is there anything you lads want to chat uh, chat about? Anything that springs to mind? Rishi, what's going on in the UK, man? What's going on? What's, what's some hot topics? Shit all. Shit all. Shit all. What, uh, what team do you support? Are you a, are you a United. Fan? Man United. Man United? Yep. Why? Best team in the world. Yeah. They have, they, they have history. They have a good team. Mm -hmm. And just, it's just a really good team. They, I do they... think David Moyes is a fucking prick, though. <laughs> I don't know who these people are, so I'm going to step outside for a little bit. This is... Uh... Now triple. This is a fucking debacle. <laughs> yeah. Are, are you? Uh, I mean, is it just the team you followed from from a young age, or is it you, you got any uh, history there? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm following United for quite a while now. Yeah. Yeah, and the United Arsenal match is happening in three hours. I was going to say, yeah, that's. Um, yeah, I thought that was last night, but um, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's going to happen. Uh, or tenner in UK time. How far is White Hart Lane from where you are? Not that far, actually. Uh, like half an hour, 40 minutes. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, the nearest stadium to me is Wembley Stadium, but nearest club station is Arsenal Emirates Stadium, I think. And Finsbury Park. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down with the knowledge. Down with the knowledge. Yeah. I'll be back there next next month, but unfortunately the timing doesn't line up that I can actually get to a uh, get to a game. I think the closest I would come would be to see. I think it's Tottenham West Ham. I'm a I'm a Spurs guy, but um, my dad's West Ham. I think, but uh, I don't think the, it lines up. Or or Chelsea oh, Crystal what, Palace. Oh, what day do you come down? I'm there from. Sunday the 15th of December and then I go to New York so I'm only in the UK for a, for a few days typically I land on a Sunday which I think is when the Chelsea Crystal Palace game is on but um, but yeah 
This is engrossing Michael Ben Stephen and Ron. Ron. Yeah. Uh, ben, give, yeah, me a, yeah. give me a topic then, Ben. Let, let's, let's try and engross you as best as best we can. Um, about that last conversation, keep it rolling. Fuck off. Um, every I did it, I just every... came back. Sorry, Ben. Every podcast I usually bring up Hearthstone, that game. Um, they just had BlizzCon, or it's still going at the moment, and yeah. next month is open beta, so everyone can try it out then. And find out how good it is. And on mobile, I read. Is it? Oh, it's definitely a mobile game. But, um, yeah. Hmm. That's all I really have to say. I thought I'd just give an update. I'll tell you what, though. They like, bring it up every time. Looking at some of these uh, uh, bli- um, Instagram bliss, BlizzCon feeds, it's quite impressive. And by impressive, I mean loads of boobs. Yes. It's oh, yeah? amazing. Yeah. Let me see if Why I can... I like those baby. Oh, it's, it's so good. Jessica ne- uh, Jessica Nigiri, I think her name is? Yeah. Good Lord. Who's that? Oh. Tell me the Instagram name. I mean, that Instagram is just amazing. Um, typically, I cannot find it. My feed was just absolutely slammed with all the stuff that she uh, had been taking. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Where is it? Mm. But also another news while you're still looking for that, they also announced the next um, expansion for World of Warcraft, which I'm surprised people are still actually playing. So they're apparently, making apparently they're losing piss loads of people. Yeah. Like piss loads like are just a, like dropping off every month now. Yeah. So what, like a ten year old game or whatever? And you're still paying what thirty bucks a month? I'm not sure how much it is now. And people are just like, yeah, no, nah, not anymore. Thirty months. Why yeah, I think that? it's that year month. Why do you ah. think that is though? It's I mean, a ten year old game. What what is a game selling? Money drop horse. Off, money Just, horse. Yeah. I mean at the start, vanilla WoW was like fucking awesome. And then they just kept on doing all these add ons and just changing stuff which everyone really liked. And then it was just yeah, just turned crap. It was like, yeah, we're sick of paying thirty bucks a month. For years and years, for like a ten-year-old game. Oh, oh. Damn, you can't really get a good, uh, good impression. I can see some kind of form of titties, but everything's <laughs> wide. Let's not be crass. I'm just. A, a, what's, a, uh, what's the Instagram name? Uh, Jessica Negri. <laughs> Jessica, the normal spelling, N I G R I. You should spell it from the beginning. Okay. J E S S I C. Are you one of me? I'm, I can't fucking tell. Like I'm getting I trolled get, like, from sarcastic answer. Getting trolled from every fucking direction on this show today. <laughs> oh no, I'm actually writing it. Hey. Well, spell Jessica the normal way, and then N. I don't have to spell Jessica. Really. Dude, you that, are shitting me. That English, <laughs> oh, English no. school system is really paying dividends there. Man, I, I can't spell for shit. J e double s i c a n i g. He's joking. Is he joking? I'm not joking. Well, if you shut up, Ron, I'll give him the spelling so I don't have to repeat it four fucking times. He can't spell. That's there's something here that we need to fucking address. Okay. <laughs> And like, no, no, let me tell him. No, 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 no. Don't tell him. It's a fucking name. And it's pretty fucking common. It's pretty fucking simple. I got this. I'm not angry at you. (laughs) I'm just surprised. I'm just really surprised. Yeah. Awesome. (laughs) I think we might wrap things up there. Uh... Smooth segue into the exit. Literally, about as smooth as a bucket of pus. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that was a perfect well, con- Considering I just got a text off Chris, did you get the one as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I got, got it, it to all of us. Yeah. Should we name and shame? <laughs> when you got it. A- <laughs> no. He'll never come back, that's like. God. That pretty much limits us having UK guests pretty much in the future. Really? Well, well, I could come on, if I do come back on, I could come on early. Well, you'd have to come at like 2 in the morning or something. Just... <laughs> I'm always up at 2 in the morning on a Saturday night. 
Yeah. Well, so, some other people. It, it's a bit hard to make that request of people that uh, come on the show. Hey, you want to come on the show? Yeah, yeah sure. When is it? It's 2 a.m. your time. <laughs> I'm always playing Ghost at that time or FIFA, so I'm always on it. It's two games that you hate. You're both play- you're playing. <laughs> <Yeah>. you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing at 2 a.m.? I'm playing two games which I think are shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just right now. Yep. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll bear that in mind. Should uh, you have any more random bollocks that you, we can't fit into this show? I always have random shit to talk about, man. Roll that dice. Roll away. Have, of that, I have no doubt. <laughs> But I think we're about two plus hours in, so I think we might call it a night there. These eyes are getting sleepy. Mm. sleepy. And I can just tell from the energy levels in the room that uh, (laughs) everyone's feeling just as awesome. It's been a long weekend. I will, uh, I think we'll wrap things up there. That was episode eight. If you liked it, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to Rishi for your random bollocks. Thanks to Ron for your ridiculous interruptions. And thank you, Ben, for... Awesome interruptions. Oh, awesome. We're giving ratings to, to uh, interruptions now. That's good. You know it. Good. Cool. Well, we'll downgrade next week and, uh, and have slightly better interruptions. <laughs> so we'll call a night. No promises. No promises. We have a quality level to uphold here. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.